Alrighty guys, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, like I told you guys when we were building this trailer, or that trailer, there it is. Uh, I had a couple of special projects that I was building it for, and that I'd take you guys along when I went to go get it. Well, I've got two. I was able to get one this week. I wasn't really planning on it, but I was down at my grandfather's house helping him do some, uh, some cleanup, hauling off some scrap metal. Got told, hey, if you want to come get this uh, this old truck, go ahead and come and get it. So we rode over there. We picked it up. The filming is okay. I was trying not to show a whole lot of where I was at because I didn't really want the area being filmed. So nobody, nobody would recognize anything. So that is what it is. So I'll go ahead and apologize for that. <clears throat> I didn't do a whole lot of talking either, so I'll probably do some voiceovers. So be prepared for that part as well. But let's get to it and show you guys the film. Alrighty, so this might look like a weird angle that we're pulling from here, which you guys can't see off camera, is there's several obstacles that are not able to be moved. And so we got we had to pull out an angle to get it out, and then re-rig probably three or four different times to work straight and get it on the tree. At this point, guys, there was a small sapling in the way, so we got that all cut up, moved out of the way, and we wouldn't cause any more damage as we were continuing to pull the truck out of the brush.
as you guys might be able to see as you're watching this, uh, the uh, the trailers want to slide off to the passenger side of the trailer. So at this point, I got to re-rig to one of the D-rings that we put on the driver of fenders to make an angle pull the snatch block that way it'll actually pull straight up onto the trailer. It might roll a little bit. I gotta let off. I gotta run this chain somewhere else. Put something up here to block it from moving. It still won't put a lot of It's all good. I know you can't hear it. It ain't no big deal. At this point, guys, if we're in the free and clear, we're going to be on the trailer in a couple more seconds and it'd be out. But the transmission cross member was hanging up as we were coming onto the trailer because the tires are flat. So we had to grab some stuff to prop up. And then that actually allowed us to get over that hump, even though we did catch still just a little bit. trailer we'll uh, give you guys a little more walk around once we get back to the house what's up guys so it's the next morning we got this thing pulled out of where it's at sitting at my pop's house it's gonna hang out here for a little while but I figured I'd give you guys a walk around real quick show you what it looks like see if it's, it's something that's possible to be fixed I think it is it's just gonna take a little love so Flip you guys around real quick and show you guys what it looks like. A 
wood bed's long gone, but there's plenty of plenty of extra wheels in here. All the hubcaps are actually here, so that's a kind of a shocker. But they're all there. The uh, overall, it's not terrible. Generally, from what I've seen on these, these are long gone and they're actually for the most part still intact. But it's got some cab corner rot from sitting in the woods. A little bit of floor pan rot right here and you can see probably about 20 years ago somebody there's some other pans in there but I don't the uh, the backside's pretty solid so I think it just needs some some touch-ups on this and, and our door seals here and a new a new door because this one's it's hard to show it on camera but this one right here is slap rusted into and just ain't nothing left of it that'll be a good memento piece but those in decent shape. It's got a little dent on it, but I think that's an easy fix. That's, a, that's the only thing that I'm actually really worried about is the windshield's cracked in it. I don't know how hard it's going to be to find one of these and to replace it. But it's uh, it's mostly all there. It's a truck that's been sitting in the wood for three years. Last tagged in 86, so 36 years or so. But the motor's there. Everything with it's there. Uh, I think it's locked up at the moment. I haven't really messed with it. But I was told that it was free not too long ago. So shouldn't be terrible. The passenger side looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Got a little a little rust poking through here and here, but it's 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 really not that bad. Not for sitting in the woods since uh the late 80s. I can't get this door open, but I think our seal here is in a little bit better shape. It's not as bad. But that's it, guys. So tell me what you think. Should we try to put a little bit of money in this, get it going again down the road? Or does it just need to become yard art that goes in front of my shop? I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Well, I was going to end the video here, but on the way to the house, finally I got some time to stop by and uh, see a truck that I've been seeing for the past few months or that I've noticed was there over the last few months. And uh, stopped to talk to the property owner, see if it was for sale. I guess it's a bit of a complicated situation with it, but we'll go ahead and show you guys the... Uh, truck I stopped and looked at and we'll go from there all right guys so I've been seeing this truck the last I don't know a couple months I've been coming out of my grandparents house finally got some time to actually stop and talk to the property owner he informed me that he not the one who owns this truck but that he reach out and let me know what's going on with it so who knows maybe we got another project not that we need one but is it guys check it out it's an old international 1100 i guess it's been sitting for about 12 years it looks in halfway decent dang shape guys i mean it really does it looks freaking awesome so i'm hoping he's gonna reach out to the guy that owns the truck and i'm gonna be back down this way in about a month Hopefully, we can get our hands on this thing. Because I think it would be awesome. Make old uh, Puddin's Fab Shop proud. <laughs> but it is a, I think it's a good looking truck. That ain't got a whole lot of rod on it. So, with that, see you guys next time. So, as you guys can see, we may have another project on our hands here. So, uh, hopefully, uh, the guy can get up with the original owner. He wants to get rid of it. He doesn't want a whole bunch of money for it. Uh, and I I know I spoke to yours today, but I've already forgotten your name, sir. But I wanted to let you know that I enjoyed talking with you. And uh, next time I'm down that way, hopefully I'll have some merch and I'm going to drop some merch off to you. So uh, just reach out to me. I gave you my phone number. Reach out to me. 
and I'll reach out to you when I'm headed back down that way. That way I don't just pop in unexpectedly like I did this time. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, there's going to be some more stuff to come, guys. I still got one more thing to go get, but it's five and a half hours north. So, we're planning on that here in the next month to two months to go get it. And I'll take you guys along when we go. Oh, and don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. I'll do my best to, to reply to all you guys' comments. And uh, stay tuned until next time.